Hey Matrix, welcome to um, video 2 of this series where we're going through the Mads Paper 2 uh, past paper of 2020. If you don't have the paper, there's a link in the description below. You can pause the video and download it as well as the memo and then once you have it, we can continue with the question. Okay, looking at question 4, if we read at the top there, we see that M uh, negative 3 and 4 is the center of the large circle and a point on the small circle uh, having center 0, 0. Uh, then they give us N over here is negative 11 and P. The tangent is drawn to touch the large circle at T uh, with NT uh, is parallel to the Y axis okay, that, that's over here. Uh, and then they tell us that um, NM is a tangent to the small circle um, with MOS the diameter. Okay. So before we start, just note a few things here. Uh, note that this line here, MN, is tangent to the small circle. So therefore, that one and that one sits at 90 degrees. Okay. Um, another thing, uh, because that's a tangent that runs up, and this one's sitting tangent. Okay. This is going to come into play. So note that if I draw a line across here. Okay, I'm going from the center of the circle um, outwards, uh, so therefore that's going to be a radius. Okay, that's all going to come into play. Okay, so let's look at question 4.1. So 4.1 says determine the equation of the small circle. Okay, now remember to determine the equation of a small circle. Um, here's the equation given at the top for a circle. Um, remember that x and y is any point on the circle and H and K is the center of the circle. So looking at our picture over here, we can see that the center of the circle is at zero and then the point given on the circle is negative three, four. So we can plug that in and solve our equation. So we're going to have, remember we're solving for R. So what we're going to have over here is we're going to have um, x is going to be negative 3 minus 0 since h is the center uh, that's all squared plus y is then going to be 4 minus 0 squared equals r squared okay so now solving out for r we're going to get 9 plus 16 equals to r squared so therefore r squared is going to equal to 25 so if we rewrite, don't forget to rewrite the equation. So it will be x squared plus y squared equals to 25. Okay, that's the equation. The next one says here, determine the equation of the circle centered at m uh, in the form of that over there. Okay, so once again, they've given us now the equation. Okay, so for number two, uh, the point t is on the um, circumference of the circle okay so it's on the circumference over here so note that this x point here will be equal to that x point up there for t okay so i'm just gonna give t a um, coordinate here that's negative 11 and let's call it q okay so looking over here remember i said this would come into play we have t there and we have m there we know this x coordinate over here, that's negative 3. Okay. Plus, we know the center of the circle, so we can find its equation. Okay. Why? Because this is perpendicular to that. Okay. The reasoning for that is tangent perpendicular to um, the radius of a circle. Um, and now we can find the difference between the x values. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is. Oh, Q we know, sorry. Q we know is 4. Why? Because that's my Y value over here. So Q is 4. Okay, now using that we can find the equation. So T is going to be defined as negative 11 and 4. Okay, and then we have M, which is defined as negative 3 and 4. So we can take the difference of the x values so delta x is going to equal to negative 3 
minus minus 11, which equals then to 8. Okay, so now plugging that into your formula, okay, we shall have 8 minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is going to equal to 8 squared. So we're going to end up with x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals to 64. Okay, and that's your formula for the big circle. Okay, now looking at the next one, it says determine the equation of uh, nm in the form of y equals mx plus c. Okay, so we need nm over here. Okay, remember I told you that this point over here is 90 degrees that's going to come into play. Okay, so what we can do is we have this coordinate and we have that coordinate. So I'm going to first find that line over there. Right, so remember that the um, gradients multiplied by each other are negative 1 for perpendicular lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to find the line or the gradient of MO. So M of OM is then going to give me, um, that's 4 minus 0 over negative 3 minus 0. Okay, all the points are given over here. So plugging that in, we're going to get an answer of uh, negative 4 over 3. Now using the equation up top here, we substitute that in, which means m n m is going to equal to positive 3 over 4, which makes sense because this line's moving upwards. Okay, so now that we have that, we've got a point as well, negative 3 and 4, so we can find the equation. So I'm going to be using this formula over here. So y minus 4, so my y value is 3 over 4 x minus x1, which is negative 3. Okay, so if you sort out the algebra over there, you're going to get y is going to then give you 3 over 4 x plus 25 over 4. Okay, and that's going to become the equation of um, nm. Okay, then looking at 4.4, Okay, it's a bit of a long question. They can ask you to calculate the length of SN. So that's from here to here. Okay, so we're finding that length over there. So what we need to do is we first need to find the point N and then find S, plug it in to our distance formula and we have our answer. Okay, so over here we've got the equation Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug negative 11 into x's place. So it'll be y is going to equal to 3 over 4 negative 11 plus 25 over 4. And if you work that out, you should get y equals to negative 2, which equals to p. Now that I have p, I have my coordinate for n. Now I need to find s. Okay, so S is going to be, there's many ways of finding it as long as you provide an explanation. If you can see over here, it's 180 degrees opposite M. So it's done half a circle. So what's going to happen is we're in the bottom quadrant here. So my X value is going to equal the same X value here. Okay, and my Y value is also going to be, but the signs will change. Otherwise, the other way we can show it is using midpoint okay so we know the midpoint is zero okay so we know that midpoint theorem says that we have x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 but we know that our midpoint is zero zero so we're looking for xs y because we have xm so xm is going to be negative 3 plus xs all over 2. Um, y is 4 uh, plus ys over 2. Okay, so each one of these is equal to 0. Okay, so we have negative 3 plus xs over 2 equals 0. And 4 plus ys 
over 2 equals 0. Okay, therefore you shall get that xs equals 3 and ys equals 2, 4. Okay, now plugging that into your distance formula. Okay, so we know that distance equals to the square root x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Okay, you plug in n and s now that we have into there. You plug it into your calculator and you shall get a distance of um, 10 square root 2 units. Okay, so plug your two points into here and you'll get that over there. Now, looking at question 5, 4.5, it's a little bit more of a, a tricky one. Um, what's happening is, they say if another circle is drawn at B, uh, negative 2 and 5, and the radius is K, which touches the um, circle centered at M, determine the values of K. Okay, so what's happening is, we have M. Okay. Now, what's happening is, um, if you look at the coordinate system, that's negative 3, 4. I'm being shifted 1 to the right and 1 up. Okay, that's B. That's negative 2 and 5. So now what's happening is, I'm forming a circle that touches the circle um, M. Okay, so I can either have a circle that does this. Okay, so it sits with inside. Or, if I draw it again, okay, I can have a circle that touches over here, okay, which means that becomes my radius, and now that is my circle. Okay, so we need two k values. So, how are we going to do this? The first thing we're going to do, so 4.5, is, <coughs> pardon me. We're going to find the distance between M and B. So M is negative 3 and 4, and B is negative 2 and 5. Okay, so using the distance formula again, uh, x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared, you should get that your distance is the square root of 2. Okay. So now note that here is M, here is B, cap. So we can either have a short radius to the edge of the circle, okay? So that there is going to be the radius of M minus this radius. So what's happening is we're going to have K is going to equal the radius of M, which is 8, minus this small distance here. So this distance here is root 2 okay or what we can do is we can have this long radius which cuts through M to the edge <coughs> okay which means K is then equal to 8 plus square root of 2 you plug that into your calculator and you should get 6.6 .6 and 9.4 okay and that's how we go about solving this question. Okay, if you've found today's video helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Um, consider subscribing to the channel as well. Uh, if you know anyone else who's struggling or could use the help, please pass it on. Uh, the more it can help, the better. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day further.